I've always thought about it, which is a shame, because it takes a certain temperament to be a manager or a coach. I mean, not everyone has that temperament or that that way of, of handling younger players. But people like you and people like me have so much to offer because of where we've been and what we've done in the game that it's a shame that that we that we're not that way, you know? Because yeah. Sometimes people who have never accomplished much in the game get into those positions and kids can, don't learn half as much as what they could because the players coaching them or the, or the people teaching them don't really know what, haven't been to the places that, not you and me, but there are hundreds, thousands of us who have retired from the game and have not got into coaching because our temperament doesn't push us that way, but we have so much to offer. So yeah. this is why... I think the sports at TV and I appreciate you helping us with this can help younger kids learn from people like you and me from these discussions or whatever they want to, because they are learning from people that have achieved something and not just somebody that hasn't played and, and suddenly now on the, on the field with them teaching them, you know, so. Yeah, a hundred, hundred percent. And I think what we can add that the, the, the coaches who haven't played can't add is how do you feel? Um, you know, Coaches who haven't played can, can, can explain a, a 3 5 2 or 4 4 2 and explain how to hit the ball with the inside or outside of your foot. All that is, is technical stuff that, that is easy to do, all the tactical. Where, where they battle is when a kid comes to you and says, I'm you know, crying their eyes out, as a goalkeeper, for example. Um, they're all blaming me for, you know, for what's gone wrong. I, I know exactly how that feels many, many times. Mm. And you know how it feels for a striker to miss an open goal. Yeah. And, and so you can sit with them and say, hey, I've been there. I know. I know it hurts a lot. But yeah. This is how you turn it around. Um, and, and there's ways in goalkeeping to, you know, to take an, a situation and, and just, you know, put it aside. Even, even with small kids, I say, take a little bit of grass in your hand, sprinkle it in the back of the goal. That's your mistake. Leave it there. Mm -hmm. When the game's over, you go and pick a little bit, bit of grass up and then you go to your coach and say, right, here's my problem. You can't, once you've made a mistake as a keeper, you cannot think about it again because you're going to make a second. Yeah. And you're going to exacerbate it. Your job after making a mistake is to be as good as you can and hopefully make a fantastic save that pulls your team up. Um, so I, I agree with you. There's, there's stuff that ex-players know, which is more about how you feel deep inside. And, right. and I think young players respond to that because they know that you've been there and you've, you've felt the same things.